Dang. Beep, beep. Excuse me, I need that. All right, January 1st. Here we go. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feels so right, then I'm wrong. Great one, I'll be fine. But I get up. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day one of our new weight loss journey and health plan for 2024. Today I'm taking you guys along as I try to conquer all five of my goal pillars that I've set for myself each day this year. If you haven't checked out my last video where I kind of talked through my health plan for this year, including using the WW Weight Watchers plan to track my food intake, I'm trying to focus on a well-balanced health this year. I think every time I've clicked into a good routine that not only focuses on my food, but also my fitness, my emotional and mental health and wellness. Everything ends up falling into place and it makes weight loss a lot more attainable for me. So go check out that video where I break everything down. But if you're just starting with me this video, I have decided on five pillars of health that I'm focusing on this year. They are mindfulness, movement, nutrition, sleep, and stress management. So as you can see, it is pretty early morning, so I'm sitting right by a window. So it's like very, very bright early morning light. My girls are already up and playing in the playroom. Say good morning. Morning. <laughs> say good morning, Nori. Hi. You say good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you have Elsa on. Awesome. So my daily routine is probably not going to fully sink into place for another two, almost two weeks yet, a week and a half, because my older daughter Lila is still on winter break from school. So our day's a little different. Josh was up and out for work before all of us were kind of awake for the day. And typically when we have a day where Lila's going to school in the morning, he does school drop off while I get her ready and he helps with Nora. And we just, we had a really good sink going on. On. The girls slept in this morning, which is awesome. I'll take it. But because they slept in a little bit. Sorry, you guys are gonna hear toys in the background because the kids are awake and I planned to film this before they woke up. I did not wake up on time. I was gonna try and wake up at like 6.30 to try and get ahead on my schedule for the day. But one of my pillars is sleep. I was going for eight hours. I went to bed on time last night. I went to bed at 10.30, so I should have been able to go to 6.30 for eight hours of sleep. But I was like tossing and turning when I went to bed, and I don't think I finally fell asleep until just after midnight. So that pillar is probably going to take time to sink in. I am excited for it to sink in and for me to feel more restful and like I'm getting better sleep. And I think adding a lot of my other pillars are going to help my body feel more at rest at night, especially getting movement in. I know that's always one for me if I'm having disrupted sleep it's because I'm not getting enough movement in during the day so I didn't quite close close my ring I know a lot of people are using those like ring closing apps I haven't found one I loved yet so I'm I'm just doing it old school tracking my goals uh, in a notes app on my phone so I'll update you guys if I find an app that I like uh, for my specific goals but I didn't obtain my eight hours of sleep for sleep we'll see maybe I'll like sneak in a little nap when Nora's napping and Lila's doing quiet time today well I don't know. That's, I think, a big hope. The next pillar I want to look at, just because it's time sensitive, is in my nutrition pillar. I'm trying to get 30 grams of protein in in the first 30 minutes of waking. And I am rushing to that goal line um, of being awake for 30 minutes. It's like 7.45 and we woke up at 7.30. So I was planning on making a smoothie with a premier protein shake and some peanut butter and a banana to get that in. I don't think I have time to do that and drink it before my 30 minutes. So something else I picked up for these instances when I don't think I have enough time to make something in 30 minutes of waking are these Fairlife Core Power Drinks. This is like a turbo boosted one. It has 42 grams of protein in one drink. They come in at six points on the WW plan, but they do have a version that comes in, I think around 24 grams of protein. And that one I think is only four points on the WW plan if you're looking for something for less points. So this is nice and cold from my fridge. It is the strawberry flavor 
um, complete protein drink. So I'm gonna try and drink this down in the next 15 minutes to get at least 30 grams of protein in. In my first 30 minutes of the day, Overall, my goal is to get in 100 grams of protein today. And then the other part of my nutrition pillar is keeping on my WW plan points, which I get 46 a day. Quick review, this tastes like strawberry milk. It's very good. I think it'd be really good in a smoothie, um, but it's pretty easy to drink just on its own, which is nice when you're looking for something to get that quick protein boost in first thing in the morning. So, I always have to have protein shakes cold though. I know you can store them at room temperature, but they don't taste very good. Having them cold and making sure you shake them really well before you drink them is like an absolute must. at the playground. We decided to get outside for a little bit this morning. I went ahead and brought my coffee with and we're gonna play, enjoy some fresh air and uh, get my fitness pillar going. Did you guys like my fancy accessory of garage remote? Found the pockets today. Go! You're so big. Good job. Hop. You wanna do it again? Okay, let's go do it again. Oh, so she's climbing. You gonna do a slide? Yeah. Which one? The bumpy one? Oh, Nora, back up. Oh, you tricked me. You're going on the monkeys now? All right, monkey, monkey. All right, you coming down? Woo! There's one. Come on, this way. No, come down the side. That's even more come down the, fun. Come this one. Okay. Ready? Go. Good girl, ready? Go get the ball, Mills. Getting Millie her fitness in too. Come on, Mills. Bring me the ball. Drop it. Good girl, sit. Go get the ball. <laughs> oh, goodness. Come on, Mills. Lila, you want to try? You turn. Ready? Big throw. Sit. Good job. All right, we're back inside. The girls are sitting down doing some coloring. I am getting a breakfast skillet ready. I'm going to go ahead and double this up so I have breakfast ready both for today and for tomorrow. Whenever I take time to like cook, cook a midday meal, either breakfast or lunch, I go ahead and double it or triple it and then use it tomorrow as like a mini meal prep, just prepping an extra serving if I haven't gotten around to doing a full meal prep for the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I also am gonna get our dinner going in the crock pot. This week I'm trying to stick to some of my easy staples that I've used before on WW. I know the points, I know they're low point meals, they're easy, and once I make a big batch of them, I can use them for meal prep for lunches or some extra dinners throughout the week. So tonight for dinner we're making chicken tortilla soup. Something I know my mom has done before and a lot of people do is soup sundae. And I definitely think I need to maybe start that and try it out because it's a great way to get ahead on some meal prep for lunches for the week by making a nice big pot of soup on Sunday. So yeah, we're doing a little bit of a meal cooking and prepping. Hopefully the kids will stay entertained at the table for a little while. Nora's been all over the place this morning just like chasing after her. So I hope she will stay still enough for me to finish this.
check if they're done. I find one of the bigger potatoes and just make sure a fork can go right through. One of the hardest things for me is going to be getting back in the habit of measuring and weighing everything out. Um, I know that I have a pretty good scope of, you know, how much stuff is, but at the same time, like when you're getting back on a health journey, when you're getting serious about it, it's always best just to go back to the basics and start weighing and measuring out all of your ingredients. That way you're getting accurate points on WW or accurate calorie counting if that's what you're doing. Yes, it's an extra step. Yes, it makes a few more extra dishes sometimes, but it's what we gotta do to get back on track. All right, there's a little scooping back and forth, but this one says 263 and 263. So that's gonna help me make sure that there's even amounts of that base in each bowl. I'm going to use though the measurement of potatoes and then divide it into two recipes in the recipe builder to actually calculate out the points because that's a mixture of onions and potatoes. So I don't wanna count 263 grams of just potatoes because that would be more points because the onions are zero points. So I know that might be confusing. I just used the scale there to even it out to make sure the mixture was even. We will build the recipe. I'll show you how I do that um, in the recipe builder part of the WW app. And I'll use the total grams or ounces, I can't remember which one I did earlier, um, of potatoes that I cooked. Next step is in with our two chicken sausages. I cut these side by side when I slice them. I like to slice them ahead. I know it'd be easier point-wise counting if I just did them each whole and then cut them and put them into the bowl. But this way they get a nice crust on the outside of each piece. The kids are running out of patience, but I got my bowl ready. It's super good. Lots of protein packed in here. I am still sadly finishing the same cup of coffee from earlier. I've just been sipping on it really slow. This thermos too keeps it really hot. It took a long time for me to be able to drink it. I have started my water for the day and yeah, sorry, those two are, they're ready to play and move on from the kitchen. So I'm gonna go get them down, go play with them for a while and I'll check in with you guys in a while. It is just after one o'clock. Nora is down for a nap and she's totally out finally. Lila is taking some quiet time in her room on her iPad. This is definitely the time of the day where I'm like, whew, I made it. This is also the time of day where normally I'd be like, mama deserves a snack or a treat and just to sit and relax and enjoy it. But that's not today. Today we are not reaching for food, for comfort, and taking our relaxation. Instead, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this time that I have without the kids jumping all over me, get my rebounder out. That is my new fitness activity that I'm trying out for my fitness pillar. It's basically like a workout trampoline. And I'm gonna bounce for a little bit, have some fun, get some movement in my body, in addition to our walk for this morning and playing outside with the kids. Then after that, I should have about 30 minutes of physical activity for the day, which is definitely like where my goal is as I'm starting out. The rebounder can be a lot. I'm definitely gonna have to work up to being on it for longer periods of time. I'm gonna have to do like a five minute bounce and then a rest and a five minute bounce and a rest or, you know, we'll see if I can make it five minutes. But anyway, let's get that out and work on our fitness pillar while my house is quiet. My B can, I believe I have the 40 inch. Um, it's like a small medium size. It's not the biggest size you can get. Hello, Millie. <laughs> You're not going to want to be here when I start. Oh, you want to come look out the window. Okay. Hey, the kids are finally taking a rest. Now you have to leave me alone too. That's, this is, she's not happy about this. This is normally her one-on-one -on -one mommy time. I will come rest with you in a little bit. I promise. Now she's just going to stand there and stare at me because I'm not coming to cuddle with her on the couch. Be patient, you. Anyway, this is my rebounder. It is a banded um, rebounder instead of with springs. It's supposed to be really great for your joints. Um, you can do this either in socks or with shoes. I'm just gonna do mine in socks today and see how that goes. All right, you win. <laughs> I moved the rebounder from our bedroom out to the living room. This was super, super lightweight. So easy for me to move from room to room. Um, but this way, Millie can sit with mommy in the room. Spoiled dog. All right, can you guys see <laughs> my rebounder? Um, I'm actually gonna turn on the TV here. Woo! Um, they have a bunch of different little workouts on YouTube for rebounders, so we're gonna try one of those out today. 
Am I gonna hit my head on the fan? This may, I might need to move closer, but then you guys won't be able to see my feet. All right, so this is a YouTube video. Um, the channel is San Fran Fitness. I'm gonna link it in the description box below, um, but this is just supposed to be like a beginner 10 minute rebounding workout. Sorry for the lighting and the angles, and I'm just trying to get you guys so you can see how this rebounder works. Um, and it's dark outside, because it looks like it's gonna rain, so I'm glad I got the kids out earlier. And then you need to take a break. That's okay. I'm gonna grab some water and then join right back to the class. And if you need to take a break and stop like me as you're getting used to it, we're gonna keep moving our body. But just walk in place until you're ready to get back on the trampoline. And we're back and we're gonna keep going. Okay, we just got through with that 10 minute shorty workout. I did have to take a break like three times, um, less than a minute each time, just for some water and just to kind of do some walking um, to the side of the trampoline just by myself to kind of regulate a few things. I definitely need to go looking for some higher support sports bras and I need to find better leggings that are gonna stay up if I'm bouncing. I almost lost my pants twice. But I think those are gonna be essentials if I get into rebounding daily. Um, I also ended up taking off my socks and going barefoot on the trampoline, which is what the instructor was doing, and it ended up being a lot better halfway through. I think I was fighting the slip and that was adding to me being more fatigued earlier on than I needed to be. I'm not doing as many of the varied movements and like extra workout-y kind of movements yet. I'm mostly doing straight bouncing, wide stance, narrow stance, marching, um, changing up my arm placement. Some of the other ones they were doing, I knew my coordination and fitness level were not up to yet. Um, I did some of the jumping jacks, those seemed to be fine, but ones where they were like kicking their legs out and only on one foot at a time, I was way too nervous to start that. For background, my current like fitness routine is pretty much zero. Um, for the last year, I haven't been in a gym. I haven't really been doing weights at home. I do yoga on occasion and I go walking. So I'm truly a beginner beginner. Um, if you're looking to evaluate fitness level and when getting started with a rebounder, look at how red my face is getting now that I'm sitting. Although I very easily flush. I am definitely out of breath. I'm a little bit sweaty. Uh, yeah, that's day one on my rebounder in day one of 30. We're gonna keep this up for 30 days. I'm gonna keep trying to slowly increase the amount of time I'm on the rebounder. By the end of 30 days, I wanna get up to being able to do like a 15 to 20 minute workout on the rebounder. Um, it's gonna take time. I'm gonna start off with these 10 minute workouts and just take breaks as I need them and then get back on. I've refilled my water bottles. This will be my second tumbler of water for the day and I'm just making a little snack. I'm not really hungry enough yet for my lunch. Um, I feel like I've been staying pretty full today with the amount of protein I've already had today. I think I've already had before this snack 77 grams of protein. So I'm well on my way to my 100 gram goal. Although some extra research I've been doing, I might increase my goal to 120 grams just based on my current body weight and weight loss goals. But I'm gonna see how doing 100 grams today works. So I have a three point serving of veggie straws. That's 28 of these sensible portions, garden veggie straws. This is a massive bag. I got it at Costco. I also got these at Costco. Um, these are the Chomps jerky sticks. These are the turkey ones. They say they have 10 grams of protein and only 60 calories, zero sugar per stick. So I'm gonna have this and my water as a little snack. So while I have my snack, I have about uh, another 45 minutes probably um, while Nora continues to nap and Lila finishes her movie. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and fill 
my pillar for stress reduction and I'm going to do some reading today um, and this book I've had literally for at least a year if not two probably whenever it came out and it's the prequel to the Hunger Games trilogy Josh and I saw that the new movie of this book has come out for streaming now he and I both loved that book series when we were younger so I'm gonna try and get through this book um, in the next week or so Hopefully I can get through it in a week, maybe two. It depends on how much time I have. Um, they're usually pretty fast reads. I used to be able to devour an entire Harry Potter book in a single day. So <laughs> how times have changed and how many times we get interrupted a day definitely changes that. But anyway, I'm going to try and read this because then Josh and I are going to do a little themed date night in um, one evening and we're going to rent the movie on streaming and maybe I'll make us like a fun dinner or something. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do for my stress reduction. I'm going to take some time in this calmness of the afternoon while the girls are taking some chill time. I've gotten my fitness in for the day. I'm doing really well on my nutrition pillar. We know how the sleep pillar went, but to be honest, after that workout, I have too much, like I feel more energized after the workout. So I don't feel like going to sleep. I feel okay. I don't think I need a nap today. Um, but that just leaves my stress management. And then tonight before bed, I will do something in the mindfulness category and I'll have reached all five of my pillars today on day one. I definitely think I'm gonna to need to start doing some meal prep because that half hour of me trying to make those breakfast bowls and then, oh, I don't think I've shared it with you guys yet. I also popped our tortilla chicken soup, taco chicken soup, I feel like people call it all different things, but it's like all the same ingredients. At least my versions have been. It is all cooking away in the crock pot. The only ingredients I didn't add yet are some sauteed onion and garlic, but I've noticed with this smaller crock pot I've been using, that onion flavor, if I put it in raw, or even if I saute it ahead of time and put it in with everything else at the beginning of the cook, sometimes can overwhelm the flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait, give it a taste when it's done, and if I think it needs it, add it later before we eat tonight. The girls are up. We're doing some water mat crafts. This is one of Nora's uh, presents she got from Santa at Christmas, right Lila? Mm -hmm. But you still like playing with this too. You had one when you were little. Nora, did you color something? Yes. Yeah, color, color, color. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh yeah, you dip. You don't need to dip yours. Yeah. <laughs> yours, it's in the markers. The little pens and uh, paintbrushes, you fill the tubes with water and then you can color on it and it air dries in. You get to use it all over again. Checking in on our crock pot. Looking good. That chicken's looking about done. All right. Probably a little bit longer and then I'll be able to shred the chicken. Yum. It smells really, really good. It is dinner time for the family. My crock pot, taco soup, tortilla soup. I think I've called it both in this video, sorry. Same recipe, I'll link it in the description box below. But that is ready to go. I shredded the chicken, added it back. I'm gonna skip adding the onions and garlic this time. Um, I did add powdered onion and garlic to it. So we're gonna skip it. It tastes really good so far. I took a little taste test earlier. Um, so that's all good. It is one point per serving. I actually skipped a meal I had pre-planned. I went ahead last night and kind of pre-planned my day today. I find that to be really helpful when I'm getting back on track with WW. Just to the night before, think about what I wanna eat kind of pre-plan out my meals and then leave some flexibility as we go throughout the day. Things change, they change. If not, at least I have a plan in place for those busy days when I just don't know what to do or what to eat. I have a plan already ready. But anyway, I pre-planned a lunch meal and I think it's because our day got started a little bit later. I just totally skipped a meal. I had my protein shake, a like breakfast bowl that was at more of a brunch because it was later in the day. I had that snack after my workout. I've been drinking water throughout the day. I had coffee. Um, it just got late and it's five o'clock. My kids eat pretty early, so we're ready for their meal now. So I'm making them some flautas. I got this pack at Costco. They're so delicious. We've gotten them twice now. I'm making them some of those in the air fryer, but because I skipped that meal, I actually have quite a bit of points left for the day. So I'm gonna have two of those for 12 points. They're six points each. They each pack 10 grams of protein. So you know, 20 grams of protein, towards my daily goal. But I'll have two of those along with some of the taco soup on the side, a little bit of plain non-fat Greek yogurt is our <laughs> go-to ingredient half the time for a quick and easy add-on or use it in cooking. We use ours as sour cream a lot, so I'll use that to dip and to top a little bit on my soup for zero points. But yeah, I'm just gonna bulk up a heavier dinner. It is early yet, so it's not too close to my bedtime and I'll still have points left for the snack I pre-planned for my evening snack dessert.
Time for my last meal slash a little sweet treat for the night. This is just one of the Greek 100 calorie cups. This is just the H-E-B brand. This one is a banana pudding and I actually went ahead and layered in some clementine fruit. So it's a little sweet, a little tropical. These have 13 grams of protein in them. This cup comes in at four points. The clementine is zero. So a little four point snack. Whether I'm following Weight Watchers or not, this is my kind of dessert. I'm not a super big chocolate person. I like a citrus kind of dessert, so the fact that it's sweet but light and fresh sounds really great to me. I get to use up some more points for the day, and actually I think this is going to be my last thing, so that's gonna actually leave me one point left for the day. I know I get quite a few points um, following 46 points a day. I'm gonna see if that adjusts anymore now that I'm getting back on track, if it, um, Sometimes the app will adjust you up or down based on how your first couple weeks go with your weigh-ins, as long as you're consistent. So we'll see how that tracks. I've definitely gotten in my 100 grams of protein today. I'm under my points. So that's my food pillar accomplished. I got my fitness pillar accomplished. My stress management pillar accomplished. Sleep I didn't quite make. We'll try again tomorrow. And then my mindset one is left. I was just working on editing some of this video so I can get it posted for you guys tomorrow. But I'm gonna have my snack and then take a break from editing until tomorrow. I'm gonna go take a bath relax and then i actually found a devotional book that i had in my side table that i haven't gotten through yet so i think i'm going to start that as a little light evening read and it's going to help bring me to a peaceful and positive mindset ending my day and moving forward into my next day so there you guys go thanks for following along my first full day on my health journey 2024 we're making strides towards our goals let me know how you jumped in on your plan this week in the comments below Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. And until then, bye. bye.